Hello friends and welcome back to a little bit of mini painting in 4K. Today I'm going to use the colors because it's time to paint some civilians and I've decided that I want to use like a little mix of some lighter colors, you know, some civilian friendly colors um, and get a lot of those basic clothing things down. So strap in. Got my wet palette here thanks to DOD Spec Ops. And um, I'm going to just grab a little bit of uh, blue. And I'm going to go back over some of the nurses' scrubs that we started on. So um, if you could see here, there's a little bit of um, some spots that I wanted to kind of go over for some extra coverage. Primarily in the spots where, where you would see... Um, a little more of the light. That first coat wasn't quite the coverage that I was looking for. So I'm just going to hit those a little bit more. Now, the absolutely shocking and incredible thing about this is that you would think that after days and days of not using this color that it would have clumped up and dried. But in fact, due to the Masterpiece wet palette that we have, thanks to DOD Spec Ops. Um, this paint is far from clumpy, and in fact, is perfect for my second coat to get the kind of coverage on the blue scrubs that I was hoping for. I don't want to go crazy here, because there's going to be like an ID badge that I'm going to have to hit later, but just want to make sure that I've got that covered. And now she can go rest with her friends over there. Um, this is just going to be the pants. <laughs> hope everybody's doing good at home. Or if you do have to work, hope you're staying safe and clean and healthy. Perhaps years from now, somebody will watch this and be like, why was Bill hoping that everybody was home and safe and healthy? Well, because we're producing this during the coronavirus outbreak. Um, this is my um, girl with the blue tank top. So I'm just going to try to avoid hitting her um, hair. And just get like a light second coat. And these are metal minis, in case you didn't know. So I'm doing my very best to get coverage because they definitely soak up paint differently than the plastic minis. And I don't know if that's a for better or for worse kind of thing. Oh, I just got blue on her face, which sucks. That is not something I wanted to do. No worries. Mistakes happen. Sometimes mistakes happen. Sometimes you make an oops. But it's okay. It's the crafting way. Nothing's perfect and you can always go back over it again. Okay. Now we move on to some fun civilian outfits. So I think I'd like to do a happy blue with, um, with this person and her, looks like she's kind of wearing like a skirt and a sweater. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of do the try to do the skirt. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, yes indeed, friends. We're going full throttle with this project. Although my original deadline of getting this done in two weeks is now sort of pointless due to the quarantine, I'm finding that it's good that I have this momentary extension in time because there's probably no way that I could have painted like 30 minis in two weeks without making it my full-time job, which would have resulted in my wife divorcing me. So, we must balance our time, friends. Our time is precious for all of us. Okay, cool. I'll probably have to hit that with another blue. I might actually do a darker blue on that because that looks very, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. So we'll see. I'll, I'll let that dry. Always let the paint dry, friends, because, yeah, because it often dries differently than what you expect. Um, just going to do a little touch up on this technician's pants. They're scrubs. You know what? I'm I'm kind of done with that blue, so I'm gonna wash out the old brush, and then I think it's time to find us uh, find us some other some other colors for people's clothing. Um, I'm kind of gonna start with pants, I think, for a lot of these people. Um, I think some casual blue jeans are okay, and then maybe some of them will have khaki pants, and then some of them will have black pants and gray pants. So I'm just going to kind of take a look at the spread of who's around and divvy them up into blacks and grays, um, maybe some brown pants, maybe some, um, maybe even some, you know, vibrant colors. Like here I've got this this witchy New Orleans woman. And maybe she's gonna have like red pants, you know? Something kind of a little more stylized. Um, yeah, we shall see. Um, this is like a spy. Maybe I would put her in like the, the lighter tan category. Um, Yes, this guy is like a uh, academic dude, so maybe, maybe khakis and browns. Um, this is like one of my favorite figures, this homie. I'm, I'm thinking like light shirt, you know? Maybe with like stains from eating pizza pockets. My bad. Did I just move the camera, Dave? I need stands for my metal minis so they don't fall over. Because that wouldn't be good. Um, and there's even a few here that I could do with some like white shirts. But, um, you know, or like blue jeans with a green shirt, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, I am gonna start with this dude. He looks like he would be wearing blue jeans. So let's get out some variety here. Let's see what we got. Uh, maybe a darker blue, like a deep blue. This looks nice. Give it a little shake in the shaker. Paint shaker, shaking it up, do 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 do. Paint shaker, and if you don't have a paint shaker, that's fine. One of the one of the fans left a um, a thing uh, comment in one of the videos saying that you could use a, a finger uh, fingernail polish 
shaker. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like an affordable alternative if you don't want to buy one of these, but this is pretty cool. So let's just listen to it and enjoy. sound okay friends just gonna put a little dab of this here blue jean out onto the wet palette and see uh, how many people we want to get with this I'm fixing to maybe get uh, I don't know a nice mix of maybe six or eight people who have either blue jeans or blue pants this is a very dark blue as I see it on the palette now, so I'm wondering how this is going to come out, but we shall see. Um, all right, I'm going to start off with Nerdish Dude. Nerdish Dude, you're going to have some blue jeans, son. Oh, I like this. This is a rich color, man. This goes on very well. Mm-hmm. It's kind of hard to see. Hey, Dave, could you set up one of those spotlights for me? Because I'm old and blind and I can't see too well. Why don't we get a, one of those magnifying glasses? Yeah. That's true. Oh man, what a difference. Oh, yeah, right here, right right on the, yeah, see, like now I can see his pants. There's all these little features and pockets. Imagine if we had a magnifying glass. Mm hmm. Huh? Well, maybe, maybe if, um, what? if things go well, we can invest in that and, uh, and make that a regular part of the... Is that better? Yes. Sure. Positive. I don't know about that. Significantly better. Thank you, Carafa. What if, uh, what if I do this? Would this be weird? Yes. It kind of hurts my eyes. <laughs> it's like throwing my brain off. Yeah. This is an awesome blue. Really, really deep, dark blue, but it's, I think it's perfect for like a brand new pair of blue jeans, which I feel is what this master nerd would be wearing. Um, Got to get the cuffs there because he's got his pant legs rolled up. I like a pair of nice blue, brand new blue jeans. Something to be said for that. I could also see this, um, this deep blue going really well with like um, police officer uniformed, you know, uniformed police officer kind of vibe. Could also hit it with some highlights and some gray if we wanted them to seem like a little more worn. Mm, that is fantastic. I love that. All right, dude, you go chill on the drying side of things. I really like that. That's great. Um, I'm going to give this professorish dude some blue jeans as well. A lot of really great details here in these, uh, in these reefer minis.
these these um, metal Reaper minis are very much meeting my expectations. Great sculpts and details. And you know, as I've mentioned in previous videos, the quest to find modern minis is a bit of a challenge. There's there are not certainly not as many modern minis available as there are, say, fantasy minis. And I have found that the majority of modern minis tend to be very um, like military oriented. And I'm assuming that's because of the propensity in which they are used for games where there's you know tactical stuff going on. But I am very happy with my civilian minis that I've managed to track down. And among them, these, these metal reapers are pretty nice. Okay, going to go around the bottom there. Uh, on this episode, I have laid off of coffee, folks. So you might notice my hand is a little less shaky. I kind of learned my lesson, you know. Made a few too many mistakes on the last couple episodes, so I'm trying to, trying to develop a steadier hand and reduce shake. So this guy has um, his pant legs kind of go all the way down to his feet, which is kind of how I like my pants to fit, actually. Little side note of trivia. Um, not worried about hitting his shoes. If I do, I will clean it up with uh, when I do his shoes. Really digging this blue color though. Really digging it. It's a great, great color for a person's jeans. All right, while we're talking about blue jeans, I feel like I got pretty good tag on those. So I'm going to set him over with the rest of the folks who is drying. Come on, dude, get in your slot. All right. Looking, looking, looking. Hmm. Um, this here professor dude, I feel like he's going to have Maybe not blue jeans. I'm gonna move him over there. Spy girl, not blue jeans. Um, explorer scientist, sure, why not? Let's go in to the back side first. Her hand is precariously close to the rest of her, so I'm going to try to go around that and work around her bag. Now these are the plastic minis from Viral Outbreak. They are definitely something that you're going to need to prime in case you missed that episode. Priming is absolutely crucial for these and I feel like the prep session too was in important scrubbing them down before priming them to get off any mold release chemicals. Um, seems to be taking the paint okay. I would say not quite as good as the bigger um, metal sculpts from Reaper, but I would say okay. Taking the paint okay. Mm-hmm. 
She is wearing high tops, which I'm going to avoid painting because I don't want to mess those up. I think those will be nice little features to go in for details. And I am also changing the orientation of my brush stroke just to make sure I got my coverage down, especially on any high points, such as her buttocks. Basically just want to make sure I got all the gray from the primer covered up with a nice coat of this blue. Very nice, very rich rich color there. Okay. Maybe hard to see for you guys at home because of the fact that it's a really um, dark blue. Not sure, but um, okay. I'm also going to do this one with some blue jeans. But if it's zoomed out, can you see any of the details? Yeah. You can? Mm -hmm. So I'm going across her legs and just doing kind of a rotating on the brush to get an initial coat of blue on there. Then I'm going to go back in and just make sure I got like right along the edges, so where her jacket meets her pants. Um, and the back of her pants all the way down to her um, shoes. Okay, cool, cool, and cool. <laughs> this dude has a lot of um, accessory stuff around him. A lot of layers, too. So I'm going to be real careful. holding a uh, briefcase of some kind. So I'm going to flip him up a little bit towards the camera so you could see. It's kind of hard to see with the base, but I just I'm very carefully going along the edge of where in the sculpt his pants meet his jacket and where his pants meet the briefcase. Making sure that that's got a thorough first coat there. And also, as always, kind of in between his legs. Okay. Go back around to the side and the front. Um, and then not covering his boots because I want to do the boots later. Good, good. 
Man, it's amazing what just a little bit of color can do to start bringing things together. Okay, not everybody has blue jeans, so I'm going to save some of these people for um, darker colored pants and lighter colored pants too, frankly. Um, I feel like my homie should have, oh, you know what? That's right, I missed his tummy. I gotta flesh tone that tummy first before I do his pants. Um, this like strategic GPS dude might have some more military clothing. Um, I, f I still feel like Spooky Lady could have some really cool reds. Let me just take a gander. Damn it, I did it again, didn't I? So um, I have these two sculpts. One's the metal sculpt and one's the plastic sculpt. Let me move them over so you all can see. So these two guys are basically the same sculpt, but I want them to look different. So I think one of them I'll do blue jeans and like a kind of a different vibe from the other one. So the plastic version, I think, is who I'm going to give the blue jeans to. And as I'm doing this, I am also realizing that some of these people are going to need a second coat of flesh tone because I see where I missed spots. And that's um, honestly kind of a bummer, but, you know, it is what it is. Right, Dave? If I were being honest about the quality of this, I would say that the plastic version of this dude is not as good. And I don't honestly know if that's like a universally known thing, whether or not the metal sculpts have more detail or not. I know a lot of old school painters believe that to be true, that the metal sculpts are better, but I don't know if that's like a proven thing or just kind of people's preferences. You know, I don't know if it's fact or opinion. So, we shall see. We shall see. It is absolutely incredible how many um, minis I have to paint. Just, just absolutely incredible. It's, they never end. And see, the funny thing is, is prior to the quarantine, I wasn't going to paint these by myself. I was going to have Jenny and Jordan and Reagan and Beth and whoever else wanted to paint minis, painting them with me. Almost like an assembly line, like a sweatshop of students painting. But then the coronavirus came along and ruined all my plans. So now I'm painting by myself and Carafa's watching. Painting by myself 
I'm not really painting by myself. I have you guys. I imagine that you're watching me right now. Maybe you're multitasking and you're watching me while you watch Netflix or something else. Or you're listening to a podcast while you read a book and I'm on in the background. Who knows? Yep, there's some pants for that person. Okay, I'm getting down to like the last few categories, guys, where they are people who I probably won't have wearing blue jeans. Some distinguished looking academic folks, some science types, medical professionals. So I think that the blue is nigh finished nearly done so mm-hmm yeah but you know how I am I don't like to waste paint so remember this little halfling dude we're gonna give him no we're not I'm actually gonna have to waste paint here is it truly wasted though? I mean, is it? I don't think so. No, it is not wasted because we, we have the wet palette. Just so that you can see, this is what that dark blue dried up like when I redid Eddie. I did his blue jeans and then I went over with some white highlights. So it looks pretty nice, actually, when it dries up. It's very dark. It's very rich, dark blue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, how about this dude? Professor What's-His-Pants. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to add a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit more to the wet palette. I'm going to do like two more people, and then we'll call it quits on this blue. Sound good, Dave? This guy's got some nice wrinkly pants that'll really pick up the highlights when I hit them with the highlights. Right now, everything just looks like a brand new pair of blue jeans, which is a-okay. And I could always change this up too. You know, if I don't like the look of the blue, I can highlight it, I can wash it, I can do like a, a light gray um, dry brush over it, or I can really lighten it up and do highlights with white. Any number of options, but good to get a little color on there, I think. All right, so I'm gonna wash that out. Um, I think the next category of pants should be um, the people wearing like the brown pants. So I'm going to shake a shake a shake a little brown brown brown. Shake a shake a shake a little brown. I think that leather brown is my jam. Got to get all that blue pigment, pigment out of um, the brush though. Got to make sure that blue is out. I don't want that effing things up. All right, trusty old leather brown. Going into the shaker, Dave. Shaking it up.
There we go. Shaking it up, high on cocaine. Casey Jones, you better watch your speed. Okay. Some people have brown pants. Um, okay. I think, I think what I'm going to do is make this scholarly professor have uh, a nice brown tweed jacket and pants. So he's going to get the brown. I thought briefly about making it a darker brown, but I, I think this will be sufficient. I mean, we'll see when it, when it dries, we'll see. But this is, yeah, sorry. This is like one of those, um, one of those big sculpts that's like 30 millimeter heroic scale, you know? So compared to the viral outbreak minis, this dude's like, you know, seven feet tall which kind of sucks, but it's kind of okay too. It is, after all, a role-playing game which exists in our imaginations. Um, I don't want his entire outfit to be brown, so what I will probably do is make his pants and his outer jacket brown and then give him um, maybe, I don't know, like a white shirt and a green vest or something. His pants are very droopy. They go all the way down to the, to the um, ground. Very droopy pants. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not sure if I like that. I guess we'll see. Then there's this other large fellow, large scaled fellow. Well, I will also choose to paint with brown pants. For whatever reason, I see these guys and I have a very Indiana Jones professor vibe. How will they actually be used in campaign? Who knows? but they definitely have a very professor kind of vibe going on. I am going to paint this man's jacket brown as well. It will need highlights and washes. Dave, I need my spotlight battery changed. Dave, Dave, could you change my spotlight battery for me? What a difference. What an incredible difference. The level of detail to which I can see this sculpt is greatly enhanced by proper lighting. And maybe that's a thing that we should discuss, proper lighting. 
I think as a rule of thumb, when you are painting, try to have as much lighting as you can have. Reasonably, of course, but the more the better. Whenever possible, do not paint in a dark studio. Unless you have to, because of quarantine. What if we lived in the studio? What if we just had like a box of ramen? And we were stuck here for the entire quarantine. Just live streaming our lives every day. I think it would get boring after a while. Believe it or not, I know. You're probably thinking, there's no way Bill would get bored streaming. Yes, he would, precious. Yes, he would. After a while, even Bill needs a break. Okay, that is so monochrome and in not a good way. Um, but it's good for me to see this though, because now I can kind of see what that brown looks like. So there will need to be some oh, adjustments yeah. and improvements done. Oh yeah? Yeah. Why? Because it doesn't look good. It Why? needs to be I don't know, it needs like more dimensionality. Like a wash or something, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a quick dance behind you. Okay? A dance behind me? Yeah. Are you making TikToks, Dave? That's all they do. Okay. That is so bland. I don't like it. Shut up. All right. Um, so, in a previous episode, I had painted some pants brown. And that came out pretty good. But, I feel like I need to complete that package. Yes. I'm going to give it a little more of this base leather brown. But I'm going to darken it up with a little bit of the oak brown. Uh. I'm on the close up shot anyway. What? I said I'm on the close up shot. Okay. The great and powerful Karatha has spoken. Man. I am digging this brown mix. It's a little bit darker than the standard leather brown. I 
I don't know if I dig it on this though, but I dig it. We shall see. Um, I'm going to do professor's pants in this darker brown as a overbrush, which is what I'm doing right now. The other paint already dried. So I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of this darker thing just to see what that all looks like when it dries. All right, um, Morpheus. Morpheus is a person of color who I started painting before. And I will ensure that he maintains his cultural integrity. by darkening up his flesh tone. Now I'm sure that that could be done with a wash, but I feel like the base color dried much lighter than I intended for a uh, African American character. So I'm darkening up his flesh tone with this brown. Got to hit those hands to keep it authentic. That is significantly better and much darker as I had originally hoped for. Okay. All right, coming along, man, coming along. Just hitting up some of these flesh tones for the people who I intended to be darker. Might as well do it now since I'm going to have to go back over and clean up a lot of the other layers of paint. Coming together, man, coming together. Slowly but surely.
Okay. So who else needs brown clothes? This guy? That guy? Well, this guy definitely, he's got blue jeans, and I thought maybe a brown jacket. Or this guy has blue jeans and a brown shirt. Nah, but he does have brown hair. I can't look and paint at the same time, Dave. So I'll just have to trust you. What? I can't look and paint at the same time. You need a, a magnifying glass. How come no painters just look at a magnifying glass? Well, I don't. Or I mean. How about one of those lights that? That it looks like a ring light, but it has like a, a window on it. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Clamp to the table. Maybe, David. Maybe. All right. Football bro is good. I'm just going back now to look at, ah, here we go. This is that general guy. I think he is going to have um, brown pants. Because I said so. Yes, general. Sir, yes, sir. Again, this is probably not accurate for military attire in any way, shape, or form. I'm ignorant. I don't know. Literally, I don't know. So, accept my choices. Accept me. Mm-hmm, Hair General. There you go, buddy. There you go, General. Okay. So now I think what I'm gonna do is the other, so here's the, the like private eye guy. I gave him blue jeans. I think the metal sculpt, I'm gonna give him brown pants. Just to shake things up, man, because I'm so edgy.
Yeah, I think that's working. I think so. Just gonna go around there. Looking good. Looking good, Detective Steve. Now that metal does soak up paint, boy, that's for sure. So I'm gonna have to hit that another time, but we'll let let him dry first. Get over there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, back to Science Lady. That coat already dried, so I'm gonna hit that with another brown. Let's see, who else could use another brown on their pants or clothes? Ah, um, Dr. Roosevelt. Okay. <sighs> Getting there. Let's see, who else could use a little extra brown? Um, that guy's pretty good. So is that guy. Um, pretty good there. Yeah. Pretty good. I guess I do have this since I don't like to waste paint, I've got this Goliath. I can redo his boots. Give him another coat on the boots. Darken them up a little bit. I don't like to waste paint. Y'all know that. Like I dipped him in chocolate. Truth be told. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. save some more vibrant colors for some of those folks.
Okay. Almost there. Just checking to make sure I got all my people the way that I want them to before I move on to the next steps. It's good to sit back and get a sense of what you got laid out. Um, But so far, so good. So I think that's where we're going to let it go for this episode. And uh, when we come back, we'll, we'll keep working through the clothing, get all those primary coats on. So in the meantime, keep your paints moving, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. We'll see you.